Welcome to Analytics with Nax. This is another video in the SQL Advanced series where I am going to discuss about window class in SQL. What it is, when to use it, once you use it, what are the use cases you can come across. Let's try to understand as part of this video. The prerequisite, you should have a basic understanding about SQL and SQL joins. And if you are not having uh, software installed like SQL Server, SSMS and Adventure Works that I'm going to use as part of this video. You can use these links to uh, make your environment ready so that you can practice along with me. With this note, let's begin. What is the purpose of this uh, window function? Basically, it can do aggregation data values within a window or a partition. That is the primary purpose. And also it can also perform certain operations, not only the aggregation, some average or min max. Along with that, it can also perform the uh, other operations, rank, row number, some other functions within the partitions, right? That can also be performed. There are many use cases. I will cover two use cases as part of this video. The syntax goes like this, select statement and gender education and from class basically what it does is the requirement i mean now uh, from a customer table you have a gender and education within this gender and education you need to partition by gender and get the whoever has the um, rank give me the rank within the gender uh, let's say uh, in male and female there are uh, three education category and you need to rank them one two three within male and one two three within female i will show it in example so syntax for that to achieve we have a from class and you have a select class and the select columns only this is the one single additional column meaning rank over partition by gender uh, i need to partition by gender i need to divide it and then use the order by class for getting the which order i need ascending or descending based on the further rank to create that is the whole point of this particular um, windowing function so let's try to check it out as part of this video before that this channel contains a free content that covers msbi power bi and fundamentals of azure please utilize this uh, free content share this channel with your friends and colleagues let's begin Before that, uh, as I said in the group by class in my previous video, uh, that we took it on 2024 uh, December, uh, the end of the year. And this video I'm publishing on 2024 Jan. And the same example suits here. Yeah, for group by to understand, I have a data set here, Excel, and then I use the pivot table, right? It, from this, I created a pivot table, and then I dragged and dropped the gender and education and average income. What I'm trying to achieve here, Basically, uh, if you see here, I want to do the ranking, right? Let's say this is the least one. I want to do ranking as one, and this one second, and this one third, and four and five, right? Similarly, for this, uh, within this group, that is within male, I want to rank one, and two, and three, sorry, three, four, and five okay this is what i'm planning to achieve it here so in order to do this right um i i, I need to partition by this particular gender within this gender i want to do the ranking this is what i'm going to achieve how to do that let's try to check it out so let's take um, our example here uh, as I said, the customer data over here, I'm having just the average value. Let's do the order by. To make uh, very simple, I want to have uh, last uh, session, I have told to filter out the um, data. I will have only few values, three values here. Okay. So in this, this should be uh, rank one. This should be rank two and rank three. For this, it should be um, uh, for within the female, this should be rank 1, rank 2 and rank 3. How to achieve that? For that, uh, let's take this as a data set, right? I will put it into a temporary table. So 
just I will use this into statement I will put it into template table so this is my data set so I mean I have very huge data set with that I, I have a restricted data here I want to make it as a small data set within that I want to play around to uh, explain that's why I'm creating a temporary data set uh, I have already created it I'm not going to recreate or uh, I will drop the table and then create it let me drop the table I'm creating this temporary table oh sorry control is that control Y I will drop it again with this restricted data I will create it again now let's try to select select star from hash temp these videos are little longer bear with me so now we have prepared the data set now let's try to write this statement right um, the ranking so from temporary table this table and then I'm selecting the gender and education as well as the average income and what I need I want the rank over partition by gender order by average income ascending meaning ascending means small to big so this will become one rank and then let's try to see that one okay let's see this uh, figure here what happened okay that is a comma here remove that so there you go now this is the syntax basically uh, you have a rank over okay uh, you are creating a rank over within the window that window you are specifying using the partition by partition by gender meaning this will become one my window and within this i want to order right or using a rank now one two three has came and within the male so when you do the partition by gender so by male and female it created a two groups within that group it is based on this particular value order by average income i want to compute the rank okay that is the definition now within male i have created the uh, ranking right so this is how uh, you can create uh, um, in a data set in a table right you are want to create some ranking uh, within the groups right then you can use this window functions i will tell you another uh, example here uh, let's say you want to compute right how much percentage overall uh, it is contributing let's say in the female partial uh, college or bachelor's how much percentage over the total average income within this group is computing for that let's try to create another example here let me put this one into another sub table so that you will understand what we are trying to achieve let me put this value uh, this is the average value and this I'm getting the sum so for that what I need to do is I need to calculate the sum now you can see here if you sum up these three right this value will come so what happens is what I'm trying to do here is I'm computing sum of average income over partition by gender meaning I partition by gender this female then calculate the total sum and get me that value against each row okay this is the second column I'm deriving here so these three total uh, will be against each row again it is the same for this particular category now for this these three total will be over here right now how to calculate that percentage this value divided by this value gives me the average I mean multiply by 100 will give me the total uh, percentage contribution okay so for that let me put this one result into another temporary table I've already uh, done this one here okay so let me drop this table as well so I use uh, 
multiple temporary tables uh, use that will give me a clarity i can compare the result set this is the one of the best practice uh, i suppose uh, if it you volume of data is not hu huge okay so now one of the use case i am explaining you now what happens average income is this and the sum of average divided by uh, you can see the result set now home this result along with the output right i'm selecting together now this is my input what i'm getting i'm getting the percentage contributions as well so how much percentage contribution this partial college has made 30 percentage 34 percent 35 percent so within the group i can make the percentage contributions so there is one of the use case i'm going to cover another use case here if you remember um, in my previous video right we have a uh, duplicates right how can i eliminate the duplicates the only option i had is the status right the status equal to null and current sometimes i want to pick up the latest one based on this value right so instead of putting in the var condition i can create a row number right for this employee partition by this partition key because this particular employee is repeated twice so what i will usually do is row underscore number there is a function over you can open bracket partition right partition by this employee alternative key meaning i will partition by this employee then order by based on what usually it should be by created date or modified date in this i will use the start date descending okay start date just sending got it so these are the some of the queries we usually follow in the um, uh, analytics world to filter out the duplicates there are different ways to uh, filter out this is one such a way commonly used now you can see out of um, these two records the first one will come uh, the current status will become row number one and row number two so this we will provide as a input right as with ct now let's see select star from ct it should be as right ct where row number equals one so when we select together now i get only one record so this for simplicity i have put only one employee id basically this particular employee has the duplication now along with everything together there are five to six uh, duplicate records now we can see 296 right now when i make the query like this this will eliminate whatever duplicate records note down this is the 296 records uh, with duplication now uh, i'm going to apply this row number function right now you can see those six records which has a duplicate which has gone right there are uh, six duplicates records that we have found in our previous examples over here uh, let me show you this is the dim employee you can see that there is a way to find a duplicate right here we have five records so i mean five records and one uh, employee has uh, three records that's why you get six so now those six has gone over from 295 total records there are few employees whose records are multi i mean uh, replicated those can be skipped using this query as well so when you learn certain functions like this you can implement these kind of use cases in your day-to-day life these are the some of the real-time scenarios we will use these functions 
um, for uh, eliminating duplicates or finding the averages or calculations that may not be done in the analytics side you can able to do it in the SQL itself I hope you like this video if you like it hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and mention if you need more videos like this so that I can make uh, uh, videos similar to this and if you are watching this video for the very first time hit the uh, subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification do remember that data is your asset